What's going on everybody? So today I'm going to be hanging some closet made shelving. Um, your first step will be to put these hangers up. I find it easier to uh, just go ahead and directly install these into your top plate if you have one. Um, if your framers put a double top plate in, you ought to have a top plate that's actually uh, on top of your drywall here and this will fit there just fine. So what you want to do is you want to have this side down, this side down here, and this side up. This will be towards the top. Because what happens whenever you go to put your hangers in, it'll go up in here and just kind of latch. It'll kind of come down like that. You'll see it when I get to that process. So what I'm using is uh, number 14 by one and one half inch screws. Um, the installation directions say number 12 is 2 inch. Uh, these are going to be just fine. That's uh, usually they um, only require you to have, I think it's one, one screw directly into a stud, but considering we are putting every screw into a stud, we'll be just fine as far as support goes. using two of these. These are 24 inch ones. <clears throat> so without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and hang these up. makes it look a little nicer because it's flush with the top of the drywall. myself from these. <laughs> There's six holes in here. I'm going to put a screw in all six holes just to make it look decent. sure you know where any wires are and that kind of thing if they're running through the top plate. I don't have any wires running through this top plate so I don't have to worry about it. And of course if you want it to look uh, pretty nice um, you know, you want to measure from one end um, and figure out, you know, what your distance is there and come from this end and, you know, put, put your other end up against, uh, you know, the same distance away from the wall. I'm right at 20 inches away from the uh, corner. On this side, so I'm going to come 20 inches away from the other corner. Be really nice 
nice on these ladders to have like a holder right here. the next step so you see this little uh, groove cut right here that's what goes in that lift so basically what you want to do is just kind of pull them out at an angle like this put it in there and drop it down just like that they'll kind of hang there a little bit until you get the uh, shelves and everything put on <coughs> And of course, the spacing and everything is going to depend on your design. Um, I'm just putting one on each end just to make it pretty simple. And of course, you want to keep in mind your electrical stuff. This here is the master walk-in closet. So what we're going to do is basically have a closet for uh, clothes and that kind of thing. Alright, now what we want to do is get our, um, our uh, brackets which will hold our shelf. All right, so you got to drill a half inch hole with an auger bit, which we've already got here. Um, and that's going to be for your wedge anchor. These are three inch wedge anchors. You're going to need three inches roughly. Uh, probably a little shy of that, but I'll just get a three inch, inch one just to make sure that you got enough. First, put your screw through the hole in the, uh, uh, the hanger. And then thread it onto the screw. Thread your wedge onto the screw. Just like so. Once it started on there good, pinch your wedge, insert it in the hole, and it'll open up on the back side. Now, uh, what you want to do is tighten that down. Alright, best way I've found to uh, get these bolt anchors to uh, draw up tights, pull out on this, put a little tension on that anchor back there, and then you'll see it starts to tighten down, move your fingers out of the way. Alright, it's nice and tight. You could put another one up here if you wanted to, but I'm not going to bother with it. Alright, now I want to make 
sure this one's not lined up with the stud. I believe the other stud was here. The next stud will probably be like right in here somewhere. So, pretty sure we didn't have a stud over there last time I looked. Just to just to make sure. Okay. I'm not gonna have a stud over there. I'm do the same thing with this one. Got to move some things out of the way. <clears throat> So I can work effectively here. So again, we're going to put our half inch bit in. I find it a little better to uh, put put the wedge anchor like kind of close to the bottom. Like, uh, let's see, I guess. You got one that's a little ways up from the bottom, and then you got another one, so it'll be that second one up from the bottom. Switch over bits, or grab your next drill, whatever you got. down decently. Grab your three inch um, wedge anchor. Screw in the hole. Put your wedge on. Make sure that thing's Pulling things out away from the wall a little bit. It wants to come out on you because that's how they go in. Just got to be careful. Alright. Pinch your wedge. Put it in the hole. And then tighten it up. decently snug. You don't want it extremely tight because it'll pop through. All right. So they're all pretty snug. We've got the one over here we got to deal with. It's uh, above a stud so we're gonna have to find a screw that works with that. It kind of kind of matches the ones that we're using. Uh, considering this one's over a stud we can't use the wedge anchor so we have to use some type of screw um, and I'm just going to use a silver screw it's it looks pretty well the same as the other ones this one's just a different takes a different bit simply all we're going to do is find the uh, stud here should be right there somewhere So we got the stud, we just want to sink a screw in. Right. And you can make those pretty tight if you want. You just don't kink the metal, which is going to take quite a bit of force to kink that metal. Alright, so now that we have our hangers on, what we're going to do is put our brackets on, which is going to be where our uh, shelf is going to sit. So, make sure I can figure these out. Yeah. Alright, so you got these teeth here, those go in the slot that's inside the, in here. So, what we want to do is kind of get a rough height here of where we want it and make sure each one of these are going to be in the same, same hole, otherwise it's going to be up and down. So. Uh, it'll be a good time to tear this stuff off so you can at least see your holes. 
So we're on the 14th one down. We're going to go on the 14th one down over here as well. on here they stick on in there as well as these uh, down here too they stick on there as well so stick in the whole next hole down Oops. Right one. We'll do the same thing on this one over here considering we're doing the eight foot shelf it's going to come, up, come all the way over here. So. Tear that stuff off of here. I mean, really, when you decide to put your your wire shelf on, you're going to notice whether it's whether they're all even or not. It's not a real hard process. Several different ways you can figure out if it's if you're in the right hole or not. All right. So. So there's that. Next step is put your wire shelving on. So we got this eight footer here. All right, so there's a little hook right up here that you can't really see. Um, all right, now you can kind of see it. Right, yeah, now you can see it. Right there, that little hook, that's where this bar goes in. You want to have these pointed up because it's not going to overlap this thing. So anyway, just basically kind of lift up on this, just like so. Try to get them all lined up right. And just kind of pull it out slightly to where you hooked into all of them. So over here is just slightly off. There we are. All right. That one there needs a little work. into all of them so give you a little overview here it's kind of what it looks like from outside right now outside of the room um, next what we're going to do is put our uh, holders on for our bar that's going to hold uh, shirts and things all right this is the part we had to re-record because uh, for some reason the memory on the uh, phone got full we had to delete some videos and we accidentally deleted this portion. So anyway, um, this section here, this is how we hang up our uh, bar for our shirts and stuff like that to hang from. So this piece right here is what the bar hangs from. The bar sets in here and this gets hooked into the wire above. So this is how you hook this in. You just stick it up in like this, bring this side back. Make sure that's in there, and then it'll latch just like so. Just make sure that J's pointing towards the wall. And then what uh, I like to do is just kind of get everything, you know, set up for now, and then come back and just kind of fine tune things, you know, to get it kind of equally spaced. Definitely want to have one here at the end. All right. 
right, so now I'm just going to eyeball it, you know, kind of space everything out pretty equally. You can measure it if you want, but I just find it a little tedious. So, yeah, that's pretty good like that. So. All right, next thing, <clears throat> just simply put your bar in. This is what your uh, shirts and things are going to hang from. You just set it up there in that little groove. All the way over here. All right, and you go through and just snap it in. Then you can move this bar back and forth too. Um, you know when it's in there. So just into that part. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to install our shelf bracket. This is what they look like. All right. So closet made wants you to use. these which are simply um, you know a drywall anchor and a nail um, I'm going to actually anchor these to the studs so I'm not going to use these I'm going to use uh, some screws that I have so what I want to do I got my stud finder all I want to do is find the stud So I know we had a stud right here because we had our electric box there. So what I want to do now is mark that. So grab my pencil. And we want to mark that right here. Screw. Got my shelf bracket. What I want to do is put my little hooky thing right up here. Hook that in. Got to find which one it's even to. So that's about where the stud is. It's an inch and a half stud, so. We got plenty of room here to work with. I just want to make sure I hit it the first time here. Alright. Alright, we're nice and tightened up. I'm just going to go down and put these about every 16 on center roughly. Uh, when I get down here to the end, I don't think I got a stud right there close to the end. I could be wrong. I think I am because this one right here was off a stud. So I think the other stud was here, so the other one should be right about here. Pretty close. So yeah, that'll look decent. Sometimes these stud finders are a little funny. There we go. So that's where that one is. We're just going to go down the line, mark our studs. somewhere there That's the last one we got to mark. Now a minute. Okay. Next. As I can tell, that's going to be off.
stud finder, just check things. We'll put it on this side again. Painter's got a little patchwork to do. I guess that would be unique, right? Sturdy. I mean, they seem to be holding up okay, just fine. Yeah. I guess it basically just pulls down on it, and then, you know, whenever it comes down, down on top of this, I mean, it kind of holds up as well. So, so anyway, we're on the studs. Um, you know, we got our nice closet rod there that we can hang our clothes from. But as simple as that.